Shek from Shektik here again, bringing you a Photoshop tutorial this time. Um, this is going to be a really simple Photoshop tutorial to be show you how you could increase the height of your images and fill it in with like the sky and make it look like it was part of the original picture. Um, you may want to do this because uh, when taking your original photo, you notice that the you didn't frame it right. Um, maybe you're trying to follow the rules of two thirds or whatnot, and maybe you just want a bit more sky in the photo or a bit more of the building section or trees. Remember, this can be replicated uh, with other mediums as well, not just the sky, but the sky is one of the easiest ones to do. Now, a lot of people might be thinking, oh, it'll be pretty easy. You just increase the height uh, of the image and grab that color. Um, but by doing that, you may sometimes lose a bit of a tinge. You see how there's a bit of an orangey tinge and a bit of a gradient going on here. So what we do to first increase the height is we go to our crop tool. Now, with our crop tool, we have this you see, we have this grid pattern. Now, I personally use this grid pattern um, for the rule of two, the rule of two thirds. Um, what I'm trying to do with this image here is try and get the building section uh, with this bottom line here. So that's pretty much all encapsulated by this bottom row. And then the rest of it will be skyline. Um, so, yep, I think I'm happy with that grid selection click enter cool now we have this new section above um, what you want to do next is uh, make sure you double click this make sure there's a layer um, click uh, your square selection tool um, and then select all this empty area it doesn't matter if you overlap that bottom the the sky a little bit um, and that's cool so now we have that top red square selected this new area that we have created you want to go to edit now at edit you want to go to context aware fill now click on context aware fill it will bring you to this new window here and uh, what you're able to do is what it'll do is automatically start uh, this loading here look at that it has now filled the sky in by uh, looking at the surrounding textures and uh, attributes in your photo so it's filled it in a proxy so it looks like it was always part of the sky and that gives a much more cleaner effect than just doing a fill and also is more helpful in other sky things where you have clouds and whatnot it will also fill that in and that looks really cool you have options for opacity you have um, things like that but i'm quite happy with the look of this so click ok command d or control d depending if you're on windows or mac so that deselects it and done look at that now we have increased the picture the image um, by this square now look if i turn it off we've added this whole section and yeah and now you have lent in your picture uh, i'm more happy with that we've got that more of a skyline in here uh, for the desired effect hope this was really helpful for you and clear if you have any questions leave them in the comments down below um if you want to see some of my work uh I'll link my Instagram in the description. Um, but as always, thank you for watching and eyeball one, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.